Many of you that follow my channel are probably already aware that once a month I open carry. I do it to raise awareness of the Second Amendment and people that normally conceal carry their firearms on a daily basis. Now, every time I do one of these videos, I get someone that inevitably says, if you're going to open carry, you have to have a retention holster. I hope you have a retention holster if you're open carrying, or hey, you're not using a retention holster, you need to use one if you're going to open carry. Now, before we address the question of whether you need a retention holster for open carrying, let's actually address what a retention holster really is. Now, when a lot of people think of retention holsters, they think these standard Kydex holsters are actually retention holsters because they do have that little bit of retention. They snap into it. This is a, a zombie green holster I got from Redstone Concealment. And uh, now that I'm actually showing this, I don't know if I ever paid for this or not. Uh, so I might need to check into that. If, if uh, you're watching out there, Redstone Concealment, and I never paid for this, uh, send me an email and I'll have my people uh, get on that as soon as possible. But like I was saying, a lot of people think these standard uh, Kydex holsters are retention holsters, but they're not. I mean, there is a certain degree of retention because once it snaps in there, it doesn't just bounce right out. So in a way, they are retention holsters, but this is not what people mean when they say a retention holster. They mean a holster that has a secondary lever or button or knob or whatever that you have to activate to get the gun out, like this Bianchi holster right here. This Bianchi holster fits my Colt officer's model, and once you snap it into place, you have to push this little lever down before you can get the gun out. If you don't push it down, the gun won't come out. It's locked in there by the trigger guard. Once you push the little lever down with your middle finger, pops right out. Another popular version of retention holsters are like this one here from Hogue. They are paddle holsters. They just slip right on your belt, just slip right onto your pants over top of what you're already wearing. You don't have to take your belt on to put them on and off. So a lot of people who wear suits and stuff like these. And this is a slightly different type of retention holster. It actually has a little lever right here you push with your thumb. You don't have to use your middle finger or anything. You just push this with your thumb. This one right here fits my Glock. Once you snap the Glock in there, it is not coming out. It is in there solid until you push that little button down with your thumb, pops right out. In fact, it almost pops out on its own when you push that button. When you push the button, it takes almost no effort. I mean, you just push the button, there's my finger, just pops it right out. That pops out so easily when you push that button there. I usually don't like this type of holster, but when it comes to a retention holster, I actually like this one far better than the other one. Mainly because where that little button is there, it doesn't require you to put any fingers anywhere they wouldn't normally be when you're drawing. And it is real easy to draw quickly from and to reholster. Like I said, it almost pops out on its own. So once you push that button, this gun pops right out quickly, reholsters very easily. And now that we've actually discussed what retention holsters are and what they aren't, and shown you a couple of different models here, we can actually get back to the topic at hand. So now that you know what a retention holster is and what I mean when I say retention holster, let's address the question about whether we need a retention holster if we're going to open carry. And the way I will address that question is by simply saying, bullshit. You do not need a retention holster to open carry. People who like to say that you need a retention holster to open carry, they always base that on this notion that people are going to take your gun from you and use it against you if you open carry. And that's kind of a silly notion. Now, everyone's always got a story of how their cousins, uncles, neighbors, best friends, dog had it happen to them, but it never happened to them personally. Now, I'm sure some people on the internet will come in now with you know, an anonymous comment of it happened to me, but you know, we all know how reliable those comments are. You know, I've done lots of research trying to find accounts of it happening because I'm sure it has happened because most anything that can happen has happened. And it sometimes happens with police officers, but police officers aren't concealed carriers. They're not doing the same thing we're doing. They have to actively get up in bad guys' faces all the time and confront bad guys. We don't do that as concealed carriers. So unless you're going around looking for trouble, that's probably not going to happen to you. In fact, I haven't been able to find any credible evidence of it happening hardly at all, much less in any way that is statistically relevant. Now, if you want to use a retention holster for open carry, that's your choice. I've got no problem with them, really. Now, I do kind of have a little problem, and that problem being that if you have a retention holster, there is a mechanical element of that holster that can fail. That's one more thing between you and successfully deploying your gun if you need to in a stressful situation. That mechanical element of the holster can fail, or you can just fail to engage that. So that is one thing that can go wrong when you need your gun the most. And in fact, I would say that going wrong is far more likely than someone stealing your gun. So when you weigh the odds of your holster stopping you from using your gun when you need it, or someone taking your gun out of it if you don't have it, it's probably more likely that the retention holster is more likely to get you harmed than it is to keep you from being harmed. So make your decision with that knowledge in mind. Know your play in the odds. Make a calculated risk. Say, mm, I think I want to have a retention holster. Because if you say that, you want to have it, that's great. It's when people say you need to have it that I have a problem. 
In fact, if you come up to me and say you need to have a retention holster and you're not wearing a helmet, I'm not even going to listen to you because you are far more likely to receive a fatal head wound in your everyday life than you are to have someone take your gun from you and use it against you. In fact, if you're not wearing a cup and a helmet, I'm not listening to you. Because when you start talking mathematically and risk factors, you are in about the same statistical ballpark of having your gun taken and used against you as you are having a transvestite midget hooker just walk up to you out of the blue and bite your dick off. So if you want to use a retention holster if you're open carrying or any other time, that's great. Just make that decision in an educated manner, and that's fine. If you want to use one, use it. There's a lot of good ones out there. i got no problem with them and themselves. But if someone comes up to you and tells you you absolutely need one and you don't have one, well first, tell them bullshit and then kick them in the nuts. Because if they truly believe in being that prepared, they should have their cup on.